Um, I'm Dr. Chrissy Deborah of uh, Center for Cosmetic Surgery Ghana and um, today we're going to talk about um, how we perform a safe procedure in Ghana. Uh, that is, we're going to do, we're going to perform liposuction and fat transfer. And fat transfer, we call it a BBL, resident blood lift. And essentially what we do is um, we harvest the fat by liposuction and uh, mix it with uh, some antibiotics and uh, transfer the fat uh, to the patient. So let me go ahead and show you the instruments and equipment that we use to perform this uh, procedure. Over here we have uh, what they call the power assisted. This is the power the micro a power assisted uh, liposuction device made by micro a, and that is what we use to break down the fat. And in addition to this machine, the power aspirator, the black one here, we use to safely create negative pressure and pull the fat out of the patient. And when we pull the fat out of the patient, it goes into this container here, which has uh, some fluid at the bottom there. The fluid actually washes the fat. So this, this is a red head, red head instrument, which is uh, self-contained. And the, all the fat enters uh, this um, canister. And the fact, because the fact is light, lighter than water, it settles at the top, and everything fluid stays at the bottom. When we've collected the fact that we want, then we transfer, we add antibiotics and transfer it to the patient. Now, so during the procedure, we have. Um, these cannulas that we use, the different sizes, the different tips that we use safely for the patient. And we use, each one has its own use in terms of what we're trying to achieve. First, we break down the fat, then we, we are able to suction the fat and then we also have a procedure we call the feathering, where we actually uh, make sure that there are no lumps and bumps or undulations on the patient's skin. So that is the essence of these different cannulas. Now, during the procedure, we have this machine here, which is a pump. We most of the time we provide epidural anesthesia for a patient. And the anesthesiologist will, will fill a syringe and, into, and place it on this pump and connect it to the epidural catheter in the patient's back. And it numbs the patients from their chest down. So they rarely don't feel any pain, they're still awake. And whilst we're doing the procedure. And when it's all done, we, we take this machine away and we introduce this other small machine here which we, we attach, we fill with medication called morphine. Morphine, it's a pain medication, and we introduce it into the skin, and we attach it, and this machine will gradually deliver medication to the patient over a 24-hour period. So they are really pain-free for the first 24 hours, and, and that is a very huge convenience. Now, after we've actually done the procedure, we have different garments that we use for the patients. This is a garment from Marina. We use it for the arms. This is the garment that we use as a band. And with the other garments that we don't have them ready now, but we, we have all sorts of garments for the different types of procedures that we, we, we do so that the patients uh, are safe. And this is uh, uh, one of the, it's called the tuning syringe, which we use to introduce the fat. 
and we introduce it, introduce the fat slowly. Uh, this is a, a pad, super absorbent pad, because how can we introduce a whole lot of fluid into the patient? We we need the fluid to come out, and this is a super absorbent pad. It can absorb up to three liters of fluid into this this pad right here, and so we use that on the patient so we can uh, absorb. And then we have these are all sterile fluid. Bring this lactic. This is a uh, lidocaine that we use for uh, the patient. And we also use uh, what they call numerical epinephrine. Uh, epinephrine to actually constrict the blood vessels so we minimize the bleeding whilst we do the procedure. And we have some antibiotic ointments that we use for the incision. We have some uh, betadine to cleanse the patient. Sometimes when we take pictures, the patients appear a different color shape and this is because we use some antibacterial uh, solution to wash them. Now whilst we do the procedure we also have um, this system here. You see that it's already inflated. We have a machine called the Flotron and we wrap this around the patient's calves so that it prevents uh, blood clots that's being created. So we actually this machine this system here actually massages the cows for the patients to prevent blood clot. And then we have a monitor system here, uh, our anesthesia machine, um, to, to monitor the patients and if we have to deliver some oxygen, we have oxygen also coming through the machine. So technically this is a very safe environment. This is the standard uh, operating theater that we bring our patients in here to provide uh, a safe and uh, effective uh, procedures for both uh, liposuction, fat transfer, um, biosculptings, and all the cosmetic procedures. Thank you very much.